Hey, Interpersonal, Mrs. Roth here, and let's talk about what you're doing on Tuesday. On Tuesday, you're going to be filling out a study guide and submitting it to the assignment Dropbox here. Um, the study guide is on Chapter 2, and the study guide is really based off of the information from the Chapter 2 notes lecture that you watched on Monday. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that, make sure you go back to Monday's folder and start by watching that. Um, F if you've got the video done, then what you can do is you can open up this study guide and you should be able to open up this study guide in Notability and work on it there. Um, again, you could also fill it out on paper if you prefer and take a picture. Uh, what you're going to do on page one is you are going to put the definition for each of these terms. If you want to, you can put the definition in your own words. If you feel like you don't know what the term means, again, you should have got it from Mr. Burke on Monday. But if you need a refresher, you can click the link um, here that uh, gives you chapter two notes in a text version, and you should be able to find um, what is a message? What is feedback? You should be able to find definitions here in the chapter two notes um, as you're filling in this vocab page. Um, the next few pages here are uh, these squares. What you're going to do for these squares is you are going to draw um, some pictures. So if you zoom in, this says the seven types of nonverbal communication. Uh, when you're in Notability, you're going to want to zoom into this square nice and big, right? So you have space uh, to write. Um, and you're going to fill in the first type might be appearance. And the visual that you could do for appearance, you think, what could, what picture could I draw that goes along with or represents appearance? So maybe for visual, you would draw like a tie, right? And then for your example, you would say you should dress up in a suit and tie when going to a job interview to give a good appearance. All right, then you'd go to the next one and you'd say um, type. Um, and maybe the second type that you would have would be facial expressions. And for your visual, you got to think, what can I draw that represents a facial expression? Um, and this one might be easy, right? A smiley face or a frown. And then your example would be um, you smile uh, when you want to indicate you're happy, right? And you're going to go through and you're going to fill out all seven types of nonverbal communication. And then you're going to fill out the channels for messages. You're going to fill out the types of internal interference, the levels of information. And again, you should have all of this information from the lecture on Monday. All right. If you feel like it is too much to get done on Tuesday, uh, remember that it's not due until Friday. So you can come back and finish working on it on Wednesday or Thursday if you need to. Um, but definitely get a good start and get through as much as you can uh, today because it's due by Friday at 11.59 p.m. All right. If you have questions on it, let me know. Otherwise, uh, happy studying communication.